Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part two of how to embroider a hanging plant. If you guys have not seen part one and you are wanting to learn the first portion of this tutorial, which is how to embroider the plant itself, be sure to check out my previous video, which is part one, which will be linked down below in the description box. But for today's video, we are gonna complete the embroidery. I'm gonna show you guys how to embroider the actual macrame. So as you can see, I have two plants here with the finished macrame and today we're going to do the macrame for the one in the middle so in my previous video we embroidered this little vine plant and I have a full tutorial on that but I have been filming for most of the day so I've got a coffee now in my previous video I had lemon water now we are on to coffee so I've got my coffee here I've got all of my embroidery stuff and between filming the first video and now filming this video my stuff from Michaels came in and I ordered a bunch of embroidery stuff for y'all for a giveaway so I'm gonna show you guys what all I ordered for you it's basically everything that you need to get started with embroidery and I'm gonna be hosting this giveaway over on my Instagram so if you do not follow me on Instagram it's at my when and by the time this video goes up the giveaway will also be live so be sure to check out my Instagram after watching this video the first thing that I ordered is all of the embroidery thread and this thread was my favorite online all of these supplies too that I ordered are supplies that I use personally so it's all stuff that I highly recommend as well so if you do want to end up purchasing any of these supplies I have them all linked down below in the description box as well as on a blog page on my website so all of that's linked down below you can find out all that information but the first thing that will be in the giveaway is this pack of thread and I love all these colors so much this is the DMC brand and this is my favorite brand of embroidery thread because it has a little bit more of a silky texture so it's not gonna get as knotted so I highly recommend this brand and like I said I've linked these down below this one comes with 36 colors I believe and they're all super super pretty colors that I would use and I think I'm gonna actually order one of these for myself because I love them. You guys already have seen this embroidery box. Basically, what you do is you get thread that looks like this and then you wrap it on the bobbins. So I got the bobbins, which is what I wrapped all my embroidery thread on. And you will also win this embroidery box. This has some bobbins in it as well. So you'll get the box, you'll get the bobbins, the thread. I've got a pack of needles for y'all. My gold scissors that I use, I also ordered for the giveaway. And then you will also receive the fabric which hasn't come in yet but it will come in by the time this video goes live as well as some hoops a lot of supplies for you to get started and work on quite a few pieces unfortunately this is just an Instagram giveaway so if you want to enter this giveaway you're gonna have to go over to my Instagram page and enter through there but I am just so excited to get some of these supplies over to one of y'all because I had no idea that embroidery would bring so many people joy like I really love it it's something that I do to unwind and it's something that gets my mind off of like social media and everything that's going on and so I've loved sharing all of my embroidery pieces with y'all I love walking you guys through tutorials and sharing projects that I'm working on on my Instagram I also love being tagged in all of y'all's projects it makes me so happy when you share them with me on Instagram and tag me because it's just fun to see what everyone's working on so again if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to be sure to follow me at by Chloe Wen and then I guess if you're new to my channel welcome I normally do a lot of thrifting fashion beauty kind of lifestyle content but lately I have been also embroidering so it's something that I started in 2016 and I have not really stopped I just haven't posted about it until recently and I guess now it's just a major part of my life and a major part of my at-home routine so we're gonna go ahead and get into it though I just wanted to let you guys know about the giveaway because I know a lot of y'all have been really interested in starting and getting supplies so I just I don't know I thought of it the other day and I was like it would be so fun to order all of this stuff and then give it away to somebody so I'm super excited and like I said embroidery is just something that I really enjoy and I just want to share that with y'all we're gonna start on the macrame for our hanging plant and if you missed my last video I have a template for this specific design that you can download on my website and that way you can trace out this design for yourself and just make it your own customize it with your own colors but I love this little design with the three plants as you can see I actually sketched it out in 
in my bullet journal and then just drew it on here with some pencils. So we're working on this middle plant today and the color that I've been using is this kind of oatmeal color. I hope you guys will be able to see it on camera. I know it's like cream on cream. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this makes sense. And I'm going to try to explain this process the best that I can, but more so I think seeing it on camera will really help y'all visualize how the macrame is done. But as you can see, the back's a little bit chaotic. We're going to go ahead and get started. If you guys are new to my channel, you have not watched my other embroidery videos. I have a video that is called Embroidery 101, and that will walk you through the absolute basics of embroidery, like how to start your hoop, how to like really get started and the step-by-step -step for beginners guide, because this tutorial is going to be jumping right into it. And there's going to be some things I'm saying or like terms that I'm using that you may not understand quite yet. And so be sure to check out that video if you do feel a little bit lost with what I'm doing or if you're brand new to embroidery, you're gonna wanna watch that video first because I'm not gonna really go over those basics in this video because I already did that. We are gonna start on our macrame. So I hope I can do this well because I don't wanna let y'all down. I like to start with my macrame at the very top of where it's gonna hang down. So we're up here, you guys can see my needle at the top and we're gonna hold the back down like we always do. And we're going to just go forward like usual, how we always start our embroideries, just to make sure that the thread does not pull through. If you've watched my other videos, at this point you know exactly what I'm talking about and this should make sense to you in case you are new. Like I said, check out that Embroidery 101 video because you'll know what I'm talking about. We've got it to wear. We're not pulling through and we are going to start moving down the rope. Now, the fun thing about the macrame is that macrames are actually woven by hand. It's just rope and we're going to imagine our string like the rope. So in a macrame, there's a lot of knots and a lot of twists and we're going to do the same thing with our string and our needle. So starting at the top, I like to add knots in just kind of wherever you can see. I added one right here. There's one at the top over here. There's one right here. So you can add your knots wherever. But to start a knot, what we're going to do is kind of what we do in the back where we loop our needle through one of the strings like this. See how my needle is going through there. And we're going to actually make a knot like this. And we're going to pull it through and we have a knot to make your knot bigger. What you're going to do is just loop it as many times as you want until your knot is the thickness that you would like it. And this is a technique that we're going to do throughout the macrame. So be sure that you are comfortable. Maybe practice this knot on like a piece of scratch fabric because we're going to use this knot at every crossing point of the macrame. So every time that the macrame meets another part of string, we're going to knot it. So I've added a knot at the top that I really like and the knot just adds texture. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. It adds detail. So we are going to now start moving down. And then we're going to come back up a, just a tiny bit like we always do. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to loop through here and we're going to create another knot. See how we're pulling the knot right at the end. And we're going to do it one more time to make the knot thicker. And then we'll just do it one more. And you can do this, like I said, as many times as you want. You can do it once, you can do it twice, you can do it more, but I like to do it two to three times. So now we're going to bring the thread down further on the design. So we're going to come right back up where we just ended and we're going to come up and we're going to make another knot. And we're going to knot it again. Now we're going to break off and I want to do four strands, just like we did this one right here, where there's one, two, three, and four. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to start on the outer one right here and we're going to thread it to the corner like this. See how we did that? Now we're actually going to come up to the left right here. So see now we're right here over to the side. 
and we're gonna go right back up to the top making a triangle like this now we're gonna go back up through the top and we're gonna make another triangle going down right here and then the last ones we're gonna go all the way out to the outer corner right here and we're gonna go back up to the top like that so now we have our four strands like this now we're gonna come from the back right here and we're gonna make a diamond so we're gonna take this and we're going to thread it back through in the very center like this and this is where the visual is going to be more helpful than me explaining it but we're going to come back up here and we're going to make a knot so see how we use these knots throughout the macrame so we're making another knot and then we're going to go back up to this corner and you're basically just making a diamond like that then we're going to go back up through here where we just were right back through there and we're going to make another knot like this so we've got another knot and we're going to go meet this strand so now we're going to go out here like that come back up right where we were make a knot we've got a knot now and we're going to connect it up here in the corner see how we did that now I'm running out of string so I'm gonna go ahead and end this and then I'm gonna get more string so I have a new threaded needle and I'm just gonna start up here in this corner now and first like always we're gonna just make sure that it does not get pulled through from the back so that's all I'm doing right now now that the thread will not get pulled through we're gonna start in the corner right here and then we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna meet it down here making another Kind of triangle coming back up down here making a knot and then going up to the top like so then we're going to come back up through the top right here make a knot and because we finished off this first row we're actually just gonna go right back in so we have our first row done now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to one of these right here and we're gonna make another triangle. So we're gonna go all the way to the base right here. The base like this. Come up from where we were. Make a knot. And then we're going to meet it up here. Now we're going to come right back up here where we were. And because we already have this knot, we don't have to make another one. So we're just going to come down to the base again, right here. Like this. Come back up where we were making a knot down here making a knot down here like that then we're going to go back up 
here. And that is how you do your macrame. Now we're gonna do the tassel at the bottom. So we're just gonna come back down here through the bottom. And we're gonna hold this with our thumb. So our thumb is gonna go right here and we're gonna just loop it right back where we were. Creating a loop on the front. So you want this hanging out like this. You want this loop right here. So holding this down, we're gonna come back up right here. Hold the loop in the front. Then we're gonna make another loop and go right back through. So now we've got two loops right here. Hold it with your thumb, come back up through the back. We're gonna make another loop. Hold it with your thumb. Now we've got three, and I like to do three or four, so we're gonna do one more. Hold it, back up through. We're doing another loop now. Holding it down with your thumb. So we've got our loops down here, and we're gonna hold those. Now we're gonna go back up through this side right here, like this and we're gonna cross over it, like this. Just gonna cross, like that. Start on the left again, and we're gonna cross over to the right. And one more time, coming up from the left, crossing over and going back down on the right. Now we're gonna end it by flipping it over and knotting the back, like we always do. Okay, cut that off, flip it over. You can see we have these loops. We're going to cut the ends of the loops. So you can see my scissors in here, and we're going to just cut the ends so that they're no longer loops, but they're just little tassels. And then to trim it up, you're just gonna cut it straight across. And there you have it. The beautiful little tassel on your hanging plant. Now, if you want to, you can go back in with the same green and create a couple vines that come over your macrame. But I think I'm actually just gonna leave it like this because I like seeing the macrame. But this is what it looks like all done. And you can see there's so much good detail in it and it's so pretty. This is one of my favorite things to embroider. It's so satisfying making macrames and you can make them on any type of pot. But I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to embroider a macrame hanging planter. Like I said, this is one of my favorite Favorite embroidery tricks and I am so glad that you guys now know how to do it like I said if you want to enter the giveaway be sure to head over to my Instagram at by Chloe Wen. if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below just letting me know if you've picked up embroidery yourself or if you're going to if you are new to my channel and you would like to stick around be sure to hit that subscribe button I would love to have you back for some more videos and I will see you in my next one bye guys Thank you.